new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you all right so i just want people to pay attention remember how we had the time is up and the me too movement and how you would have a whole bunch of women come out the blue and they will talk about some things that happened 20 to 30 to 40 almost 50 years ago you might as well have you know thrown in the beginning of civilization you know how far back uh some of these women were basically going and, and talking about things that transpired well now in a sense you have that very same thing at least starting when it comes to will smith in the video that you have you will hear of an actor that worked with will smith during ali and he decides 20 something odd years later that this is the perfect and the very specific time that he wants to come out and air his grievances instead of airing those grievances out back when he was currently i guess at his height or you know during that time where he has some pull and some power and different things of that nature but he turned around that smug that 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 look like that i'd seen that look before i, I feel like i got slapped every day with a verbal abuse. i'd be walking around and he hurled some insult at, you know i i just kept it in i went what am i gonna will smith says you better be careful you're far away from anyone who likes you I go, where does that come from i mean what do you mean i'm far away he goes ain't no mexicans here in africa i said the insults just continue uh, that that look that after he uh hit uh, that, that look of impunity and I'm saying to myself I it went from one of the happiest moments of my life to a horrible situation right? lines I, I didn't audition to be an extra all right so let's start with the last part first right um nobody really knows any of the doctors I'm just going to be real unless people grew up in the Ali era and they were there during that time or maybe they watched a lot of the fights during those times they might just so happen to know the doctor's name for everybody else no we're focused on Ali, we're focused on uh, Jamie Foxx. Uh, we're focused on uh, uh, the the woman who played, you know, Ali, Ali's wife. We're focused on the kids, you know, different things like that. Nobody's focused on the doctors, and, and neither did the doctors take up a variety of Ali's life, and and they were just an integral part. They weren't, like I said, no disrespect to the the ring, you know, doctors and, and, and different things of that nature. But when we're talking about Ali, we're talking about his life we're talking about all of the trials and tribulations um that he had to go through the the focus is not on the doctors or the people that are on the side of the ring it's not let's just be real then he wanted to say that you know he saw that same smug look and uh, uh, uh i felt like that i was slapped every single day working if that was the case as a man then you would have been left right we're dealing with something that happened between two black men and now you have somebody else wanting to basically uh, put their observation and their own selves directly in there, trying to insinuate that they were slapped, you know, a variety of times, but not physically, but verbally. Right. This is why I, I stated reality versus feelings. He didn't say in reality he was slapped. He was, he was sitting up there saying, like, I, I felt like nobody. Like I said before, I don't care what you felt like. Did it actually happen? Right. Because we're dealing with two different things here. But people want to, you know, muddy the waters when it comes to certain things, when they want to insert themselves, you know, directly in there. Right. And he then wanted to say, oh, you know, uh, uh, Will Smith, he would throw, you know, a variety of insults at me every single day. Ali would sit up there and joke around with people. Ali would also insult his opponents to different things of that nature. Usually what most actors do is that they really get into the role of that character. Heath Ledger, for instance, when he played the Joker, he really got into the role of that character. Right. Jared Leto, 
when he played the Joker, he really got into the role of that character to the point where he was playing practical jokes and different things like that on um, his castmates. You've had other instances where people who have worked on films, on war films, they're like, yo, I want this to be real. So I'm not going to sit up there and for, you know, a week, I'm not going to be sitting up there taking a shot. I'm going to do it exactly how the soldiers had to sit up there and go through it because I mentally want to be there. Um, you know with that soldier i want to make this as authentic right or stay as true to the character um as possible and you can clearly see that in what's most the uh, performance when he did ali he did his best to um you know portray ali as true as possible he took on the goal of gaining uh 30 pounds you know and different things of that nature the the way he walked and the way he talked um you know he tried as best as he could to basically embody um, you know Ali and Ali if you look at any of the videos he was known as a practical joker like this is what you know the things that he would uh, sit up there and do so you know like I said before this is in a sense the start of how things transpire as I stated before when you go back and you look at things such as the time is up in the me too movement you will have uh, individuals come out and say like oh this happened 30 years ago this happened 25 19 or whatever years ago here you have a man right who is not even in the spotlight at this moment in time and 20 some odd years later now he wants to speak on Will Smith at this specific moment he didn't wait when Ali was being filmed. He didn't wait after Ali was being filmed. He didn't wait after an award was accepted for, you know, Ali or different things of that nature. He didn't wait even after that. He waited 20, 20 something odd years later for this specific moment. And this is when I tell people that you have to question a lot of things and you have to ask yourself the reasoning right behind why it is that people decide that they want to talk now versus all the other opportune moments before like the the thing that happened before will and chris rock why didn't you talk you know during those during those variety of years you had space and time to sit up there and do it now at this moment in time you want to decide let me reflect on this i think that was me where, where, where chris rock is that was me when i was working on ali look come on let's stop the nonsense let's cut the nonsense but anyways let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that i stated in the comment description below and as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video